take a look at some pokey tricks here. Yeah, this is a PDF. <laughs> it's a fucking acrobat reader. Whoa, Rocky! Thank you for the thank you for the 100 Twitch pennies. But pokey, <laughs> a national treasure. Uh, there, there's the other half of Pikachu. The Elite Eight. The Elite Eight. Sheep, thank you for spoopy Twitch pennies. Uh oh, I see, I see him coming. I see him coming. While these are popping up, let's take a look at the Elite Eight. Bulbasaur, top of the line, number one. Hitmonchan, number two. Counting them down, the Elite Eight. Oh, we can scroll the page up and down. Oh, hang on. Where's the other ones, then? <laughs> I don't know. Gotta, gotta train them all. This is just... What? This is a really weird PDF. It's like everything is a separate, like, graphic that... Lo like, all these are little graphics that that load in or something like look when I do this and I scroll down all these things load in that's very bizarre there we go elite eight number three coming at number three Charmander top eight Pokemon folks the elite eight number four coughing followed quickly by Onyx from the base set I guess I should probably read these but I actually can't read them from where I'm sitting I'm a little too far away Jinx Number six on the list, because it's kind of racist, but still in the top eight. Definitely a solid contender. Electabuzz, number seven. Actually, there used to be whole decks built around Electabuzz, because its, it's Thunder Punch move is pretty cheap. Because I think what Electabuzz has, like, 70 hit points, and Thunder Punch does, it takes two energy, does 30 damage, you flip a coin with the possibility of either doing more damage, or Electabuzz hurts itself or something like that. I, I, don't, I don't know. Something like that. And number, number eight is Poliwag. I don't know why. I don't know. Oh, here's how you, here's how you earn, earn your points. How competitive is it? I mean, competitive enough that some fat kid got mad that he was losing to me and said I was cheating. Poke Anatomy. I know a thing or two about that. <laughs> that's, not, that's where I come from. We don't, not, we don't circle shit on cards, though. One super potion equals one seal. Super potion and seal are both uncommon cards, so they would be a fair trade. Marley, thank you for the spoopy bit chain that I, that I see about the start. Let's shoot some holes in this logic. Because clearly, they don't care about trainer versus Pokemon click some of these for Marley's twitch pennies gotta get a gotta get some in there Charizard and Lass are both rare cards so they would be a fair trade if hearing that sentence makes you irrationally upset then congratulations you officially get it so they're, they're trading a Poliwag, a Sandshrew, and what looks like a Nidoran female with the top of the card cut off. The reason that that card's not worth as much because it's missing the upper corner of it. So they're trading these three cards for Jungle Pikachu. The Jungle Pikachu, admittedly, is not a very is not a very bad card. Because that Spark move does 20, and I think you get to pick someone on the bench and do 10 damage to it. Which is pretty damn good. I think it has like 50 hit points. Yeah, 50 hit points. That's a good card. I would trade these three shitty cards for that just for the practicality of having the jungle Pikachu because it's way better than the base set Pikachu. Building a better Machamp. He's got four fucking arms. How you make him you make him any better than that? We give him six arms? Eight arms? That's a spider at that point. I don't like that one. It takes two to tangle a pretty sure. Pretty sure there is a pornographic fanfic with this exact name. <laughs> and if there isn't, well then I've given you a free idea. Trainer tips. <laughs> the little. <laughs> I thought that said little Hitler's deck. <laughs> I was about to say, whoa! <laughs> it's not built that deck. That one hasn't aged well. Look at this! This is like a fucking work cited page for this stupid thing about Pokemon we just read. People don't do this shit anymore. Look at this! You think Bulbapedia gives two fucks about what sp specific magazine some quote was taken from? Hell no! These guys gave a shit. That's pretty cool. Uh, custom Pokemon Game Gear. Which is not the Sega handheld. It's going to be damage counters and shit. 
another PDF. Make your own Pokemon coin. Make your own playmat. <laughs> Little Chansey coin right there. All right, let's. What do we got? <laughs> Print, color, cut, paste, flip. You do have to stick it onto a, an existing quarter. That's what I thought. I love how it's expressed entirely with clip art. Although, take a look at this. Here's okay. <laughs> Here's a blank one. Draw your own. Make your make up your own fucking coin. This one over here is the actual coin that they gave you with the uh, the the uh, the actual sets. All the decks came with that. So I mean, we got some generic line art from the Pokemon, and that's all we got. And you got the energies down here. The energies are pretty cool. What else we got? Make your own play. <laughs> Look at this. Print pieces, trim, match the letters, tape together, color it. You can use your map colors. <laughs> you put down 12 pieces of paper like this is a fucking selling point. No, that's 12 pieces of paper and all the ink it takes to print with it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is the... This is the actual thing that... That's the placemat. Is this just the, the website for the Pokemon League? Hey, kids! That's just, it's just a flyer for the, the thing. That's all that is. They're gonna play this every time I go there, though. Let's look, let's look at the credits. <laughs> it's raining little poke. Oh no, I wanted. I thought I could click on him and do stuff. Hard boiled testing incorporated. The bugs stop here. It was made of macromedia, I knew it. It's great. I can really, I can really tell this is this aged well. Typesetting and layout. You needed four people to do that? You needed four people to pick Comic Sans and make it green and purple? Okay, I know a cheat code. If we type in fire, I think, and then we go to play, we should be able to pick new decks. My name is Julie. Let's play some Pokemon. Make sure you check the text box at the top and the bottom of the screen. Yeah, 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 Julie. Julie tells you. Ready? Let's play. Yeah, see, look at this. We've unlocked the fire deck, and if we click over here, there's the extra deck. Spelled start with starts with an X, so that's how you know it's legit. Let's just give the fire deck a run, and she picks fighting. Okay, all right. Let's see what we got here in this extra in this fire deck. We did fire, right? And we'll do extra next. Got an awful lot of horses in here. What happens if I try to attack? No, it just won't let me. Okay, uh, hit done. I like how the 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 pass your turn button is way down here outside of the outside of the thing. All right, I'm put this down. Get this shit out of my face. Get that out of here. Now it's time to unleash the fury. I'm burn your burn your car your cards alive. Yeah, she just seems real frustrated with that. You're gonna lose on this turn. I'm gonna we're gonna wrap this up right now. But I'm still gonna put these down. I'm gonna play things like I'm. Well, I was trying to. I'm gonna play things like normal. We're done. Speed run. I should have had the speed run timer on for this. Come on. Get that. Get that shit out of here. That's trash. Wow. Knocked out of the arena. I can't believe it. Can't. Uh, Habib it. You're pretty impressive. You want to play again? Yeah, let's play again. 